Hi, I'm Peter Rubin, head of Barber Jiu Jitsu and MMA coach here in Newcastle Fontaine. Got Sam Robinson with me, helping show some techniques. We're going to work again on the cage wall. Okay, let's get in there on the cage wall. So, here, one more time, we chest to chest in an over under position. Again, I'm on the balls of my feet, I'm standing square, like in a Wing Chun kind of stance. Yeah. Driving him up underneath him, forcing the air out of his body. Now from here, I'm looking to find my head position on this side. Okay, I'm going to marry up my underhook and my head position and get my head mean up into that part of there, making him stand taller. So here, from this position, the guy's going to be trying to get his base low and hit a split. Okay, getting underneath me, keeping his hips underneath my hips. Okay, from here, when I get my head in the pocket, I'm making him rise up, I'm being mean to him, making his life miserable, making him suffer, and making him stand taller than I stand. From here, last time we were working off of wrist control, this time we're going to work off a of collar tie. We're going to meet this collar tie up with a gable grip this way. So my underhook side puts the palm out of the cage, my collar tie side here keeps this orientation, palm facing me. And I grip that up here, and look what I've got there, and I put my head in. How's that feel? It's a choke. Yeah. Choking them out. It's probably not going to submit for that, but it's going to make them react. It's going to make them go up tall. Yeah, that's going to make them easy to throw. When I come here off of this pinch headlock, if he insists on keeping that wizard, which he has to do to protect his back, now there, it's easy for me to hit with a hip toss. Now I could just slide on down here. And look what happens. When we slide down here, he's between me and the fence, and his feet are available to walk up. Come all over the top. So here, what I want to do is deny him the use of the cage. In this position here, the cage is my friend. When we hit the mat, it's his friend. So I'm going to try to take him away from that on my finish. So here, I'm going to put a little bit of amplitude on the throw. Step, hip toss. You take him away from the fence, from this position here. Now you've just got so many options. Step over. You can step on that. Chest to chest. Head position in. Mario up the underhooks. Put the pressure. Now they have to feel horrible. Crushed, right? Yeah. Yeah. If he keeps that wizard in, I'm gonna step. I'm gonna step all the way through here. One big step. Easy throw. Okay. This again, yeah, this is the advantage of having the cage. A lot of the stuff that you have to hit very fast, okay, that you have to have great sensitivity to do in the middle of the mat. I can really take my time and do it step by step. I'm going to hit this hip toss here in the middle of the mat. I've got to get on it. And if it doesn't work, I lost everything. Here against the fence. If it isn't happening, I can bail on it. And I can wait until I've got the perfect position. Now I really feel I've taken his balance. I would have to do this in milliseconds in the middle of the mat. But here against the fade, here against the cage, I can really take my time. Back step. Hips underneath. Easy. Okay, obviously in a fight. I land all my weight on it, but I'm trying to be nice. Chest to chest. Head position. Marry him up. Pinch it. Back step. Now, with the arms here, put my leg on that. Step over. Fix the triangle. With the arms here. I sit through. Let's talk in a little bit more detail about what's going on here. Take a little look. Underneath that side control. When I'm here, when I'm here is arm strong. Beneath this, beneath this line of the shoulders here, look there, strength contest, I'm pushing up, so I'm pushing down. I'm bigger than bigger and heavier than Sam. And I still I can't overpower his arm, force against force. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put my whole body against his arm. 
Sit through. Yeah. Now there, push back now. So even still, my full body against Sam's arm. He's still, he's in a mechanically strong position, even though he's on his back. His body's strong here. So where are we measuring that angle from? It's not just this line, that's not all that's relevant. When we're coming across the shoulders here, we also have to consider the straight line down. So it's this, this straight target here. That's what we're looking at. So it's not really, it's not really this angle, it's this one here. Okay, take that quarter, I'm gonna minimize that angle. So look here, Sam's strong. And when I come across, I cup his head here with my elbow, I bring his ear to his shoulder. Look there, resist now, son. Impossible. See how that was done? By minimizing this angle here, this right angle, I make the shoulder weak. Okay? So nothing changed for him except the position of his head. When I took his ear into his shoulder, his arm was weak. Now there, I just correct my hip position. Yeah, look, can you see where his arm is? It's getting smothered by that. When it goes in his mouth, all smothered here. My chest on the back of the arm, and I draw this out. There's the pin. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that technique. For more information about, it, about us and our club, visit MMA Newcastle.co.uk.